Good morning, Dad. I hope you got a good night's sleep last night and that you are ready to get moving today. Uh, this is the first time doing this, so uh, bear with me. But I'll try to make it short and straight to the point. So let's get started. Make sure you're dressed in something comfy. We're gonna really ease into it slowly. I was debating whether to do it on the floor or on a chair today, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do it on the floor. So make sure that you have some open space around you where you can lie down and not kick anything. If you have a mat or carpet, um, great. I have, a, I have a mat. And I have two blocks. You don't need them if you have some or if you have uh, foamy blocks or, or whatever. It can be useful, um, especially for the sitting position, just to have some support. Just to help help some, some some support. So if you have them, great. I've used books in the past as well, but I ended up ripping them because like my hand would slide off. So I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend books, but or maybe a, a brick if there's a brick lying around. Um. So yeah. So let's just start. I'm gonna back up here. I have my little notes because again I apologize. It is the first time. Um, so we want to find a nice, easy, seated position on our sit bones. So if we have to move our glutes back so that our sit bones are really on the ground, do that. Um, my, I can fold my legs quite easily. I hope that you can too. Um, that might be too difficult for your knees. If it's too difficult for your knees, um, you're gonna let me know and I'm gonna do a different video. <laughs> a different video in the chair, okay? So, um, if not, if you can get into a nice, easy seated pose, we're looking to align our, our back, keeping our back straight. I'll come sideways for you. Just uh, growing nice and tall, pushing our sit bones into the ground and elongating our neck towards the sky towards the sky so we want to think of our ears if you grab your ears and do some little circles up and back up and back like this try to align your ears with your sit bones so not too front and not too back this is our our goal our aim um, aligning our sit bones and we're just gonna take a couple breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. And when you take these breaths, think of them as a circular motion that the air is coming in and going down into your, your stomach and down into your pelvis and then coming back up again, down and up. So Each breath it goes in and comes back up when you exhale. When you breathe in, the air goes all the way down and comes back up. Okay, so hopefully you've done a couple of those by now. And now this, th this session is just going to be about being really, really gentle. And I want you to, to, to make sure your legs are comfortable, that you don't have any pain in your knees. No pain whatsoever in your knees. So this is be a comfortable position. And we're just gonna lean forward as, as little as, or as much as you can. There's no, it's not a stretching exercise. It's just, we're gonna let gravity work with us. You can place your hands together on the ground. Your hip bones are still, your sit bones are still connected to the ground. And you're just going to allow gravity pull yourself to the ground. You can use your hands here to support because it, be, it can be a little straining in some parts of your body. Maybe your hips or your neck or your back. But we're just going to try to relax here. Just going to try to relax here. And breathe in again those circular breaths. And really breathe into whatever area of the body that is calling out and getting your attention. 
So if you feel a certain attention, tension in a certain place, really breathe in oxygen to that area. And really let your hips just sink into the ground. And completely relax the shoulders and the head. Now keep that position, don't move out of it, keep breathing. And really think of these circular breaths again. Breathing in that air down into your pelvis and bringing it back up. And into your pelvis and back up again. Almost as if air was going even up through your coccyx and back out through your coccyx at the same time. One last breath. Now very slowly roll your back up to a sitting position. Very, very slowly bringing your head back. Very, very, very slowly. Might be a little, a little dizzy sensation. But just slowly bring your awareness back to, to your surroundings. Okay, all right. Now again, very. this is very gentle movement. We're gonna move our head down and just slightly up, but not back. Just down and slightly up, the eyes to the sky. And down, slightly back up, and down, and up. No, no pressing, no pushing, no straining. Now we're going to go look side to side, one side, and switch it to the other side. Just very soft and gentle. Breathing in. Side and side. Inhale to one side. Exhale as you switch. Inhale to one side. Exhale as you switch. All right, now we swing our head shoulder to shoulder. Start on one side. Again, no straining, no pressing, just stay gentle. Exhale, switch. And inhale to one side. Exhale, switch. Make sure it's just your head that's moving. Your shoulders and your back should stay still. Switch. One last time. Side. And switch. Now we're going to roll our chin into our chest. Half circles. One way. And the other. Feel that pull in your shoulders, in your neck, in the back of your Omoplatos, shoulder blades. Gently swinging one side. Don't forget to breathe through the other side. All right, now our neck should be nice and warmed up. We're gonna move on to our hips. So for this, I'm going to lie down. We're going to lie down. Uh, very, very gently. For this position, our knees and our feet are going to be together. But our knees, actually, never mind, don't, don't listen to that, that's not yet. We're going to slowly lie down onto our backs and extend our legs. So let's just feel the, the floor for a minute. Let's just feel the ground. The, how the ground is supporting our body. Feel how your hips just open up by allowing your legs to gently roll open to the side. It's okay if your heels aren't touching. Palms face up towards the sky. 
just feel your, your ground for a second. The ground is our support. It's what's holding up our body. So now rotating our legs in, meaning our knees towards the sky and bringing our feet together, pointing our toes or not, kind of relax. To do this, you feel certain contraction in the, in the abdominal wall to be able to bring these legs from an outward position to a parallel position, knees facing the, 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 the sky. We're going to bring in one leg. We're going to open it up slowly and gently. We're going to slide it back down. And then we're going to rotate it back to the knee to the sky. While I did that, my other leg didn't do anything. My other leg stayed in place. So again, we're going to come up, knee to the sky, open to the side gently, bring, straighten that leg, and roll it back in, knee to the sky. Again, third time, up, open very gently. Don't collapse the knee, but gently put it down, straight in your leg, and rotate it in. Again, knee to the sky, open that knee gently, very gently so our hip flexors don't get hurt or extra strain. Straighten that knee and fold it in. Now we're going to go the other way. We're going to let that leg roll out naturally. We're going to bring in the knee close to the ground. Now we're going to fold it back up to the sky and then bring it down. Again, we want to do nice, gentle, controlled movements. So open up that leg, bring in the knee, bring it up to the sky, and stretch it out. Again, open, bring in that knee, up to the sky, stretch it out. Let's take it to the other side, the other leg. Let's first bring in the knee up to the sky, carefully opening it out. Ooh. Stretch it out and bring it in. You notice I have my hands placed on my on my hips, on my hip bones right here to, to make sure that I'm not moving side to side, but that my weight is really grounded into the ground. So again, bringing in that knee. As we open, I careful not to let my back go. Keep your keep keep that both of your glutes to the ground. Slowly open that leg, stretch it out, and close. And up, open up, straighten the leg, and close. Last time, bring your knee to the sky, slowly let it out, straighten the knee, and close. We're going to take it in the other direction. Open up. Bring that knee close to the ground, bring it up to the sky, and straighten it to the ground. And rotate out, bring your knee to the side, bring it up to the sky, straighten out. Come on, two more. Rotate out, slowly bring your knee in, up to the sky, and straighten it out. Last one, Dad. You got this. Open it up. Slowly bring it in. My foot is still on the ground. Bring your knee to the sky and straighten it out. All right. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shake it out. Wiggle out the body. Relax those hips. You should have felt some, some uh, movement in your hips. And uh, hopefully that will, that will, loosen and release some strain from the lower back. Let's bring in slowly, however you can, your knees into your back. Let's just hug in our knees for a second. Just hug in our knees. Ah, thank them for supporting our body all day long. Let's give them some love. 
Um, as we're hold as we're holding in our knees, make sure your neck is relaxed. No strain in the neck. Your head should be nice and relaxed on the ground. And if your butt is up in the air, try to bring it down as well. If that means that you need to hold your knees with your hands, it's okay. It's okay as long as your whole spine is nice on that ground on the ground feeling that contact, feeling the ground. So, let's do a couple more breaths in here. Doing that, remembering that circular breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna drop our knees to the side. We're gonna come roll onto our side. And with the help of our arms, we're going to slowly come back up to a seated position, very slowly. Okay, so now, now we're going to come sit up again. If you have your blocks, you might not even need them. Um, we're going to have them here just side by side because what we're going to do is, is look to, to to have a seat with our legs out extended in front of us. And what we want is keeping those ears aligned with our sit bones. So not to not too front, not too back. Just a nice long straight spine. And this can be tiring because our abs are working here, keeping our body upright. So if you if you don't have the blocks, if you want to use your hands to push yourself up, you can. I like the blocks because sometimes I can sink down into the ground and we don't want to sink. We want to really push up out, push ourselves up out of the ground. Keeping, keeping our butt, oh, our sit bones, I shouldn't say butt, our sit bones in contact with the ground, but just really, not really pushing, not sitting in our shoulders either, but just helping us elongate that spine. If you notice, my feet have been flexed this whole time. Um, let's get used to this position. Let's get used to flexing our feet. It's, it's tiring, I know, but you're going to start working the back muscles and tendons of our back body, and that's what we want to stretch out. Um, also, be, be careful when we're stretching, flexing our feet. Um, Sometimes we have a tendency to, to just stretch the inner part of our foot. So from this, just the inner part. But I want you to think of your feet flat and really bringing out the side, the side parts as well. Well, we're going to work on this. But as we work on our feet, really don't, don't let your feet sickle, which is... Um, which is when the, your, your feet rotate inward, really try to keep them flat. Really thinking about the outer edge, pulling the outer edge back. So when we point and we flex our feet, think outer edge opening back. Not separating your legs, keeping those together, but really pulling this back, okay? Um, so we're gonna do some point and flex, not too many. I said I was gonna keep this short. I'm so proud of you for doing what you have so what you've done already so far. So back nice and straight, feet nice and flexed, our knees nice and straight as well. It's okay if you're a little bit bent. We're, we're gonna get there. Um, so just do what 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 you can. But uh, let's start. We're gonna point. So we're gonna push down, point, and flex, keeping that outer edge open, and point and flex, and three, and flex, back straight, and four, and stretch. Now we're gonna go point, open, that, that rotation that we were talking about earlier, and flex, and fold. It's kind of like, I like thinking of it as a book. Pull, pull down the book from the shelf, open it up, bring it up to you and close it. Or put the book down, open it up, bring it towards you 
and close it. One more time. Point and open and flex and close. We're going to take it in the other direction. Open up or fan. Point, close your legs together and flex. You should feel some burning in your hips, but keep that keep keep yourself pulled up. Open, point, close and up. And almost done. Open, point, close and up. Last one down. You got this. Open, keep that that back straight. Point, close and up. All right. You can shaky, 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 wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're going to do some stretches now. Some stretches, really gentle stretches. I'm going to do this face facing you. Um, we're going to bring one leg in here. One leg in, one leg stretched out. But see how I'm still facing the front? I'm not letting my hips outward. I'm really trying to keep my hips straight aligned with this leg. So same thing, we're just going to think of going up and over, okay? Placing your hands on your, on your uh, shin or on the ground, maybe on the ground. My, see this leg that's on the ground is not engaged. It is completely relaxed, this is a complete Relax. It can if it even opens up to the side. That's okay. This is a relaxing position, and we just we're going to um, bring in our breath and let it out. Just relax here. Bring in some oxygen to any to any area that needs some attention. Well, to make this work for me, I'm going to have to go down a little bit further. But for you, I just want you to do what feels good. Breathing in. And breathing out. So we walk, walk our hands back up. We're going to switch legs. Bring in the other side. Bring this one leg out in front of you. And even, think of, oh, it's up and over. Even if it's just here, Dad, that's, that's a start, okay? Even if it's just, if it's just here. Um, just holding the position is what's going to help you get flexibility. No pushing. This isn't going to do, uh, not trying to stretch. That That is... Um, if by doing that, we, we are prone to injury. So we just want to gently hold the position and let gravity do its work. Let gravity pull us closer to the ground. Maybe it's starting to shake a little. That's good. It means it's working. Inhale and exhale. All right, bring that back up. Now we're gonna take the same thing, but to the side. This time we put our leg, the same leg that we had here in front, we're bringing it out to the side, okay? So it was just here before, now it's out to the side. And what my, my sit bones are still in the ground. What I'm gonna do is take a little, a slight twist, slight twist and have my chest come up and over towards my leg, okay? Again, we're not trying to crunch down here. It's not about reaching our leg. It's about coming up and over and elongating that back. We wanna get some flexibility. We wanna get some mobility into, into our spine, okay? So really think and notice how my head's not collapsed and it's not, maybe you shouldn't, um, be following the video along at this point just listen to my voice but but um, keep your think of your back uh, your back doesn't end at your neck it ends through the crown of your head all right we're gonna roll back roll up and take it to the other side stretch out the other leg bring bring this one in again sitting high on our sit bones 
Take a slight twist. Think up and over. Oh, see, this, this side is sore for me. I think I must have torn something. It's been bothering me for a while, but uh, my hamstring here. Okay, so um, yeah, just keep that breath. In and out. I'm flexing my foot, but you can have it relaxed as we're easing, we're easing into it today. Don't bail on me, Daddy. Stay with me, okay? And we bring it up. All right. Then you can shake it out if you need to rub our leg, give me some love. And I think that is all for today. Uh, just super nice and slow, getting some breath back into our body, feeling feeling um, our abs, our, our hips, our feet, our back, our hamstrings. Um, as I said, it's little by little that we're going to get little by little every day. <laughs> um, yeah, little by little every day, uh, we're going to, we're going to, our bodies are going to to change. They're going to become stronger, more flexible, and I'm going to get you moving back in no time. I love you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you tomorrow.